We're 20 games into season two with Oxford United and today we take on Cambridge in the Boat Race Derby. Hello, hello people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And yeah, we have played a lot of football since we've last been together. It is the 21st of October 2023 and a lot has happened in this season so far. It has certainly been eventful. I'm going to catch you up on what has been going on since we was last together in just a second. We have also pulled off a couple of transfer deals at the end of the summer transfer window so let's go and crack on with all of that before we take on Cambridge in the boat race derby that is a thing in it that's got to be a thing surely we had a busy transfer deadline day with not one not two but three players joining us on loan first up was Bessie Omaradzic from Switzerland, he's 21 years old, already got five caps for his country. So you can see there that he is a very good player. How we've managed to get him on loan from Tottenham, I just don't know. And you can see here, he has played 10 games for us this season. He's got an average rating of 7.44 and we are paying at Absolutely nothing for him. So that has been a phenomenal deal so far. Following him in the door just a couple of hours later, we managed to bring in Luke O'Neill from Sunderland on loan. Again, another very good player. He can play anywhere in the centre of the park. He can also play as a right back if needs be. And well, he has been another very good signing for us. 10 appearances so far, 7.06 average rating and he's played all over the pitch so far so it's another deal I'm very happy with and we're only paying two grand a week or two grand yeah two grand a week so very very happy with that deal last but not least it's a familiar face from last season as Gabriel Slonina has returned to the club on loan from Chelsea He's still only 19 years old and he is going to be a phenomenal keeper one day. But unfortunately for him, he's not made a single appearance as of yet because our number one keeper, Jack Stevens, has been in phenomenal form. And so that is all the transfer deadline day deals done. So we go and catch you up on what's been going on in the league. Our opening day victory against Cardiff with another victory, this time 2-0 against Plymouth away at home park. Marcus Brown and Keenan Forshan getting us the goals. Following that, we had a 1-1 draw away at Bradford City. David Kalina getting us a very late equaliser. After that, Harvey Nibs really started to prove his worth for the club as his two goals got us a victory away at Lincoln. Our only defeat of the month came at home against Peterborough United as Josh Knight scored an own goal for Peterborough United for the second season running against us. But we did save the best till last in August as we had a humdinger of a game against Championship Nottingham Forest. We put five goals past 200 grand a week Kayla Navas as we beat Nottingham Forest 5-3 to progress to the third round of the EFL Cup. We then moved on to September and we began the month with a 1-1 draw away against Rotherham. Scott Banks getting us an equaliser in that one as we carried on our decent form. We then played today's opponents Cambridge in the Papa John's Trophy and we got a very comfortable 3-0 win with a very heavily rotated side. Goals in the first minute and the last minute got us a win against Wigan Athletic. Tyler Smith opening the scoring and Patrick Bauer ending it to give us a very nice victory against a very decent Wigan team. Our best performance of the month though came here at home against Wigan Wanderers. Tyler Smith getting a hat-trick to give us a 3-0 victory against the Wanderers. Unfortunately though, we then went on a four-game run without picking up a victory, starting off with a very disappointing 2-1 defeat against Charlton Athletic, which was then followed up 
with a 1-1 draw against Forest Green Rovers with both the goals coming in the first 10 minutes. Barnsley gave us our biggest defeat of the season so far as we went down 3-0 with Devante Cole getting a couple goals against us. Our EFL Cup run did then come to an end as we lost 2-1 to Watford. Tyler Smith's early goal was not enough to give us a chance of getting through against Watford. Hurtado really hurt us and then Ashley Fletcher made it 2-1 in 32 minutes and we just couldn't get back into the game. We did bounce back into form though in the league after that with a thumping 3-0 win against MK Dons. Scott Banks with two and Ebervine with the other goal to give us a very, very nice victory to finish off September. We kicked off October with a 3-1 victory away at Fleetwood Town. Again, another own goal scored for us as we took the lead against Fleetwood. Tyler Smith and Michael Ebervine with the other goals for us. That was then followed up with a 2-0 victory against Accrington Stanley. Tyler Smith with another brace as he carries on his cracking form for us. Bit of an upset here in the Papa John's Trophy as we beat Chelsea's under under 21s, three goals to one, but they did have Mudrick in their team, so having an 80 million, 100 million pound player was not enough for Chelsea to beat us, as their woes from in real life continued. Speaking of woes though, Morecambe FC did beat us 3-2 to end our good run of form. Michael Ibervine penalty and Bessie Omaradzic with his first goal for us was not enough for us to be able to get anything out of this game at the Mizuma Stadium. Lastly though, we did have a 0-0 draw against Leighton Orient as we only failed to score for the second time this season. And now that you're all caught up with the results, let's have a look and see what that means for the league table. So that means that after 15 games in the league, we are sixth in the table, only three points off Bristol Rovers in the second automatic spot. Top of the league looks like it's probably gone already as Peterborough are absolutely running away with the league. But today's opponents, Cambridge, are down in second bottom in the league. So surely this should be a comfortable victory, yeah? Just realised the recording was paused, so the game has just kicked off, but here's the team for today's game. We've got Stevens in goal, who's been in phenomenal form of 7.48 in his last five games. And then just in front of him is Luke O'Neill and Omar, Omar Adjic. I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. But those are the two in front of him. And then on the wing backs, it's Kalina and Long. Long has been on a 7.46 from his last five games. So again, he has been absolutely awesome as of late. And then in the middle of the park, it's Smith, McGran and Brannigan. And then just in front of them, it's Brown. And then the two up top is been, has been our first choice for the season so far. Ebervine and Tyler Smith, who's hoping to maybe get into double figures for the season today. First highlight of the second half, and you can see on the stats, we have absolutely dominated this game, but it's taken until the 38th minute for us to get a highlight, as now Smith back to Kalina, back to Luke O'Neill with the ball, into Brown, O'Neill once again, and can he get the ball forward? He does, he goes to Smith, but back to O'Neill again, and now McGran, O'Neill into Smith, can he turn? And yes, Brown plays the ball out wide, Kalina's got a little bit of space, and Kalina breaks into the box and it's 1-0 it's Tyler Smith with his ninth goal of the season to give us the lead in this boat race derby but no it's been ruled out from offside how was that offside let's have a look at this and oh that's tight that is very tight but it is offside well, that is a disappointing first half. We may have had a very good half from the stats, but only that one decent chance that we've been able to create. And well, 13 shots to their one, five on target to their none. How are we not winning this game of football? Might tell the lads to go a bit more attacking and maybe push them up a pitch. 
a little bit more. Now, in the dressing room, I'm going to say, don't lose faith. Again, no reaction. What is it with these boys? Have they all gone Mutt and Jeff in the last few days? Well, finally, some have decided to take to turn on their hearing aids and decide to start listening to us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I think it's the same six from before the game who have had a decent reaction. Okay, we have just made a couple of slight tweaks to the tactic. We're pushing the defensive line up a little bit higher to standard and we are going attacking with the mentality because I think if we get one, we could get two or three here in the second half. So come on, boys, come on. First highlight of the second half, and it's us coming forward with the ball. Tyler Smith out wide. Can he get this into the box? He might be able to here. He's crossed it in. Ebervine with the header, and surely that one's going to count. I don't see the referee looking, and we do have the lead in the boat race derby. I am determined to make that a thing between Oxford and Cambridge, as Ebervine is determined to win us this game of football. And have a look at this for a cross from old Tyler Smith here. Not only can he score, he can assist as well. And that was a beautiful header from Ebervine. Here we go. This is more like it. Long with the throw in to Brannigan. Plays it to McGuan, but that pass was well over hit. And now Cambridge trying to counter, but O'Neill with the header. McGran into Smith. He goes for a long shot and that is over the bar by a country mile. We've got just about 20 minutes of the game left and I'm making a few changes because the team is starting to look a little bit tired. Ebervine, the goal scorer, is looking especially cream crackered. So he is off for Sam Bulldog. McGran is off for the West Ham youngster, Forson. And Kalina is off for Jay De Silva. Hopefully this should be enough to help us just see the game out. Just under 10 minutes left now. Brannigan with a corner kick for us. And this is going to be an in-swinger, as it does indeed come into the box. Rossi heads it away. It only goes to our man, Brown. And Brown with the shot, and that never looked like going in. Minute left of normal time, and again, we've got the ball into the box. Bennett clears the ball for Cambridge, though, but only as far as Brannigan once more. And Brown, can he get this ball into the box? He's ran into the box. And now, can he find a way to cross this in? Nope, he's been forced to go all the way to the other side of the pitch, actually. Jay De Silva with a long shot, and that has also gone over. What is it for the long shots? Well, that is the full-time whistle, and it is another victory for us. 1-0 over Cambridge. Ebervine with the goal in a game that we dominated. Look at these stats here in the bottom left corner. 23 shots to their 5, 6 on target to their 1. An XG of 1.12 against 0.22. 71% of possession. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. I love that stat. And that is a very good performance. Let's get into the dressing room. I'm going to say nice work, everyone. That was good. Let's have a look at the league table. And then I will let you beautiful people go for today. Well, that means after 16 games played, we are fourth in the league. But we do have two games in hand over Portsmouth, who are only two points ahead of us. So really, we should be in third. And well, you remember that prediction I made at the end of the last video? I'm going to repeat it. We're going up automatically. I've got a very, very good feeling about this season. I really do think we're going to go up. And so, guys, that is it from me for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. And also, if you did, thank you so much for watching my video on Monday, my special six-year anniversary video where I released every manager in the world from their contracts and we had a look to see what happened in the Premier League. If you haven't watched it yet, go and check it out. It was a very interesting video, some really interesting appointments. 
So, yeah, go and check that out. But as for now, you know what I'm about to ask you to do, didn't you? Pop me a merhusive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM23 content. There's going to be more experiments as well, just because that last one did really, really well, and I like that. So, yeah, more experiments, more of this Oxford series. There's going to be a whole lot more content. And as well as all that, follow me on Twitter at staylorcoms. Thank you all so much, and, well, I shall see you next time.